Hello, friends. I welcome you to this episode. It's going to be very brief. I want to ask um, a question. Are you aware that if you are moving from one diocese to another, that you need a release letter as a priest, but you don't need a release letter as a church teacher? Because you can only resign as a church teacher and reapply in another diocese. But as a priest, yes, as a deacon, yes, you need a release letter. And that release letter comes in two ways. A bishop can release you as under secondment. This is maybe you are his clergy, you are working. Let's say you, are, you live in Lagos, but you are a clergy of Owere, and because you are in Lagos, because you are working, or you have a special assignment in Lagos, the bishop of Owere can uh, second you to the bishop of Lagos. So you can only function in Lagos for a period of time that you were asked to go work. Because uh, for the period of time that you are working in Lagos. So after your work in Lagos, you return back to Owere. That is called secondment. Uh, you can be released um, uh, permanently, and it's called letter demissiary. Letter demissiary. You, if you are released permanently, you receive letter demissiary. That means you have been relinquished from your diocese. All right, the bishop will lose all rights and appurtenances, all legal rights, all ecclesiastical rights over you, and the new bishop will gain that. You become a clergy, a full-fledged clergy, and you and there's usually a reception, a service of reception, um, where the new bishop will now rec receive you, and you take oath of canonical obedience again to that particular see and begins to work in that particular diocese. So release comes in two ways. It's either on secondment, or with letter demissary. But whichever one, you cannot leave your diocese or abandon your duty to another diocese. And another bishop cannot take you when the church was the church. Another bishop cannot take you unless he gets a letter demissary or letter uh, of secondment uh, from your bishop. And uh, that's how it, it works with the church. Um, if you no longer want to work as a clergyman and you are no longer interested in working as a priest, um, you can resign. You can resign. But if you resign as a priest, uh, you are not throwing away your ordination. You are a priest, but you have resigned from active uh, function. So you may not have the privilege of preaching or functioning in a church, you may not have that privilege, but you are still addressed as reverend. You are still addressed as uh, venerable. You are still addressed as whatever title that you got before your resignation. You cannot throw, the, it is not, it doesn't leave because you have resigned, but it leaves when you have denounced. It, there is two things, denouncing and, re, and resigning. Resigning is you want to resign. Um, it, it could be deemed as taking an early retirement. That is uh, another way to look at uh, uh, resigning from your duty. But denouncing your priesthood, that means you have denounced the church. The title will be stripped of you. Uh, that you were dismissed, excommunicated, dismissed, um, the, the ordained. You know, there's a word, the ordained, when the bishop will now pronounce that you have returned to the state of a lay person. That time you lose your title. You return back to Mr. That is how it functions. Thank you.